Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Bussy in here coming at you with yet another video. Like I promised to you earlier, uh, I think it was last week, I said I'm gonna be trying to be a little bit more consistent with my content coming 2018. So I thought that the videos don't necessarily have to be lengthy, but definitely have some content. And I'm gonna try and mix and match some things. So uh, I had some great success introducing drinking alcohol throughout my videos, so I'd like to introduce you to people to Brewdog Punk IPA. That's a very nice postmodern classic, 5.6% uh, IPA. It is definitely a uh, British classic. It's brewed in the UK, uh, but it is absolutely amazing. It's got a very nice flavor. If you ever go to Birmingham, they have their own uh, pub. Um, just definitely make sure you go there because they have all their IPAs on tap. Um, they do all sorts of different things like one of my favorite ones is actually called um, um, Jesus juice or no sorry Elvis juice <laughs> Jesus juice Elvis juice not far from the real thing. It's a Grapefruit infused IPA. It's very 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 nice. So I recommend it to everybody who likes a good IPA. So cheers mm. Really good really good now to my new subscribers um, um, some of you will be my friends. Peace out to my hometown, Bake Ishtaba, and to the Magic the Gathering crew of Bake Ishtaba and the surrounding uh, uh, towns, cities. Uh, peace out, guys. I hope you enjoy my content, and I hope you enjoy this new video as well. And also to my friends at Worcester, you know who you are. Um, I'm just glad that you're with me right now, and uh, you will be following me. Uh, on my YouTube ventures in the future. So, without any further ado, today's content will be a, a very, a very old book. Magic the Gathering, Official Strategy Guide. This beautiful piece of printing work was introduced with the fifth, the fifth edition which was a very long time ago, originally for $16.95, as stated there, uh, published by Carlton Book, developed and I suppose uh, published by Wizards Lice. It's, it's an official Wizards licensed product, as it says there. And printed by Thunderous Mouth Press. And it talks about rules of the game, deck building, creature combat, and the game itself. Now, I had this book off eBay and I paid a whole pound for it. One shiny pound plus the postage costs. And the more I read about this book, the more I just go down on like you know memory memory lane because I started to play the game not long after the fifth edition maybe a year year and a half after fifth edition and this 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 book just to be just to be exact just to quote exactly it was book it was a uh, it was uh, printed in 97 so uh, I started to play magic in 99 first time so two years after this book was printed and fifth Fifth edition came out, and and quite a few of the cards that are featured in this uh, in this book I actually used back in the days when I when I first played um, Magic up at Budapest. I was um, eleven. <laughs> I was eleven. Uh, so yeah, uh, yeah, it really does take me back. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna dive into this book a little bit, show you a little bit what it's about. If if you if you get a chance and grab one of the one of these copies, then I would I would encourage you to do so if you're interested in the history of magic. Obviously, it is absolutely not relevant to what's happening right now. The rules, some of the rules in this book are still very much the old rules, so I wouldn't I wouldn't put too much to those things. But you know, it because it's illustrated, uh, and you got a lot of. Um, you got a lot of just like really really cool little interactions, and it introduces you to some some basic uh, strategies that are applied to you know today's uh, standard format even, not to mention modern legacy. 
Um, so just a quick overview of the book. Um, obviously, this is my brand new uh, Dragon Ball Z um, game map, as I have introduced you to it the last time. So the book, uh, let's get it, let's get it like that. So this is the official strategy guide, printed in 97. Starts with an introduction, as every decent book would, and contents page. Uh, and it dives right into the basic deck building. So, like I said, it's illustrated very nicely. It calls out all the staple cards that were around in the 5th edition, uh, like Counterspell. Well, you don't get cards like this printed anymore. Fireball, a staple to the day, Land of our Elves. Um, and it, it categorizes, it goes by colors, so you got white here, you got Disenchant, you got Armageddon, then you got Necropotence, Dark Ritual, you got the um, uh, colorless cards, so artifacts, uh, uh, Rod of Ruin, for example, Fowler Stone is there. Uh, and then it just carries on going about myths about the game, like uh, how would you normally build a deck, like how many lands would you... Uh, include in your deck. Uh, are big creatures better than small creatures? So it dispels quite a few myths that um, people, you know, back in the days and even to the day, you know, when you get into the game firsthand, you might perceive these things to be true. And this guy really just helps you to, to declutter, you know, these myths. And I'm just trying to set this book up in a way that it's more visible, but I'm seriously failing in that so I'm just gonna leave it as this might bring this back down a little bit just like that yeah I don't really want to force the spine of the book to be fair because I like to keep books in a in a nice um, in a nice little uh, uh, condition but to be fair considering this book is over 20 years old it came to me in a very very nice condition actually if you have a look around it uh, there aren't too many there aren't too many faults with it. This corner has seen some action, but but overall, actually, it's I would say it's it's uh, from a book value point of view, it's probably a uh, mm, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say mint. It's probably used to mint, but it's it's certainly. It's certainly in very good condition. I mean, all the pages are there. All the pages are there's no there's no uh, scraps in the pages or anything like that. No no indecencies, and it's a very nice print as well. Like the the, the paper feel, the paper feel is actually very 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 nice. But anyway, I'm I'm extremely digressing. So it talks about myths and it dispels some myths, and then. Uh, it gets into deck building from limited cards, so when you go for a, a draft or a pre-release, it tells you how to sort of organize your cards, uh, help you, you know, arrange them by colors, by types of cards, and, and look at how much, uh, how many, how many colors would you like in the deck, uh, building your deck. So it's it's quite useful even in today's uh, environment actually if you th if you think about it. One of the one of the key things that I took away was obviously you could play standard with forty cards back in the days, which obviously now it's it's only um, 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 available in a limited environment. But back in the days you could actually run a deck with forty cards. And think about it right now if you could build a deck with forty cards in modern, yeah, you would have it would just be unreal. Um, Blood Moon. Blood Moon was a staple in the 5th edition. To the day, this is a very good card. I think for 2 mana to give all your black creatures plus 1 plus 1. I am definitely, I'm definitely um, a tribal connoisseur and you know, you know, brewing around with a card like this is it's just amazing. It opens so many avenues, you know, zombies, vampires, um, horrors, you name it. Seriously, like rogues, you know, if you want to build a mono black rogue deck. Um, it still carries on talking about basic deck building. It then goes into uh, certain scenarios and how certain decks might play out, you know, depending on what they do. Then it talks about color combinations, uh, uh, practicing with your deck, and then the second main chapter is creatures and combo strategy. So um, 
you know that that is very much relevant but like I said this still applies to the old rules uh, a lot of the things have changed since then so it is more of a nostalgic value and if you know if you know the basic rules anyway then um, just reading through this is, is just like you know like a fun factory thing but it actually applies different scenarios how to block um, how you want to block you know how, how you double block or triple block or quadruple block with small creatures against one one big target or how would you like sort of like make sure that you block in a way that all of your opponents attackers die um, it really describes strategies quite nicely actually um, talks about creature abilities um, it highlights the fact that blocking doesn't untap which actually is a very important factor um, it plays out loads of scenarios as you can see and it's really really well illustrated so it is quite obvious that they put a lot of time and effort into creating this booklet um, and you know if if you look at this product back in 97 paying seventeen dollars for this product I would have I would have certainly cut that money out I mean you know in today's standard does that would be more of like um, probably twenty five thirty dollars easily but the contents you got about 100 pages of very 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 useful advice illustrated color illustrated as well and it basically gives you a run through all the rules and everything so it talks about your um, um, uh, instant effects as well um, how and where you should use them again it goes back to um, some of the tactics and techniques pumping spells anticipating surprise it is just you know super useful uh, destroying removing creatures how would you do that you know it differentiates between different colors obviously red is burn black is destruction blue is more about a control if we turn to hand sort of type of um, color uh, so it really describes everything very nicely there it, it refers back to cars that were out of print during the fifth edition as well like Mishra's uh, factory um, there, there are some iterations. Hel uh, Helm of Obedience is of course mentioned here, but you also have the Moxes mentioned somewhere in these pages. And it's just a generally like a really nice feel book. And I, I, I can't believe it gets into tips and tricks. So additional things like um, actually talks about cards, depicts cards, and then it looks at how they think is the best way to use them. One of my good favorites is Prodigal Sorcerer. So it talks about um, it's an extremely good blue card to ping little creatures one one two one creatures down when you get the sorcerer down and and to be fair this used to be a stable a staple in in blue decks back in the days like I remember having four prodigal sorcerers if, you know if I if I ever ran blue besides your four counter spells um, so you know it it just it's um, Urza's bauble right there Mishra's bubble didn't ex exist at this point yet but even with Orza's bubble it describes that if you want to build a 56 card deck then Orza's bubble is your card you can make it happen it basically gives you some uh, uh, extra card draw it's a zero zero drop uh, artifact so if you ever need like you know like a quick deck where you don't want to run additional cards just for the sake of it then you, you should probably include your your uh, Urza's Bauble. So you know, all these little tips and tricks, Spirit Link is still used in the sideboard definitely of uh, Boggles decks or Boggles. If you double G it, Smokes, more Sorcerer's Queen, Lurgoyf is in there. A lot of the cards are obviously not really used um, anymore, you know, in, in today's time. But it's just, it's just a very nice, it's just a very nice little... Uh, little book and uh, it explains it quite well like if you have the M there it's like an additional trick if you have the um, if you have the black lotus symbol like here then it basically uh, refers to cards that weren't printed in the fifth edition uh, out of print cards as they call them but it's just generally a really nice book I would say um, so if you're interested in the history of Magic the Gathering and you don't mind coughing out a pound maybe two pounds and I would say this is your book um, another book that this refers to is the official encyclopedia and I had a run through eBay and these bad boys go for like 20 pounds easily 20 pounds is about 25 dollars 
um, about 7,000 forints in Hungary. Um, but catching this little book out for like a pound, which is really, it's, it's really nothing. It, it just gave me so much joy. And um, as I was reading through it, you know, I remembered a lot of interactions and, and, and gameplays I used to do when I was 11, 12. And um, it's just an absolute pleasure to have this book in my uh, in my um, collection. So, if if you're looking for something unique that probably not a lot of people care about, uh, I would definitely uh, recommend this official strategy guide for the fifth edition of Magic the Gathering, printed in 1997. Um, and as a little bonus, just for my new subscribers. Um, some of you guys are absolutely going to hate me for this and some of you are going to love me for this, but I would like to show you my <laughs> my new gem in my collection. And trust me, uh, I am very, very, very happy to have this card. This is an SDCC print of Jace Rins Prodigy. I'm going to get the light so you can see it properly. I mean, there you go. Uh, Sister Flip Jace card from Magic Origins and it's a special edition for uh, the San Diego Comic Con SDCC printed in 1995 um, it cost me an arm and a leg but it was worth it um, as you can see uh, the whole card is blackened out and um, Jace's little spell is actually in, in foil blue foil and if you flip it around when he uh, becomes a planeswalker he's got that spell going on there in lovely uh, blue blue foil so i know that um, not a lot of people own one of these cards and i am super super lucky to have one of these so i'd like to sign out and say thank you to my new subscribers um i know that i'm gonna have a a blast with some of you guys playing magic throughout 2018 and I'm very much looking forward to that I hope you enjoyed this video as well as usual and you know if you like it then please make sure that you like if you have any comments then make sure that you comment and most definitely subscribe if you like this video go back and check out some of my other videos as well um, and um, you know just stay tuned because Boss Satan is in the house giving you all the deck card uh, game content and some magic gathering rares and general deck tech and you know hard to find stuff like like this so peace out youtube plus saying out